Andrew Wiles and Fermat's Last Theorem. For over 350 years, Fermat's Last Theorem was one of the most famous and frustrating problems in mathematics. Formulated by Pierre de Fermat in the 17th century, it stated that there are no positive integers, a, b, and c, that satisfy the equation a to the n power plus b to the n power equals c to the n power, where a, b, and c are positive integers, and n is an integer greater than 2. Fermat wrote in the margin of his book copy Arithmetica that he had a truly marvelous proof, but it was never found. For centuries, great mathematicians tried without success. In 1994, Andrew Wiles, after seven years of secret work, presented a complete proof using advanced tools of number theory, including modular forms and elliptical curves. His solution connected entire branches of modern mathematics, finally solving a mystery that had haunted generations. His achievement made him a global mathematical celebrity. Carl Friedrich Gauss and the 17 Gan Construction In 1796, at the age of 19, Carl Friedrich Gauss astonished the mathematical world by demonstrating that a regular 17-sided polygon, also called a heptadecagon, could be constructed with a ruler and compass, something that had not been achieved since the time of the Greeks. Gauss showed that the construction was possible because 17 is a Fermat prime. He showed that a regular polygon with n sides is constructible with a compass and straight edge if n is the product of a power of 2 and distinct Fermat primes. n equals 2 to the power of k times p1 times p2 and so on, where k and s are non-negative integers and each pi is a distinct Fermat prime. This condition is met when n equals 17. This discovery brought immediate fame to Carl Friedrich Gauss and laid the foundation for his later work Disquisitionis Arithmeticae, making him a central figure in modern mathematics. Joseph Fourier, Fourier series. Joseph Fourier revolutionized mathematical analysis by proposing that any periodic function can be expressed as a sum of sines and cosines. This arose from his study of heat and heat transfer in solid bodies. The Fourier series of periodic function f of x is defined as f of x equals ao over 2 plus the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of an cosine nx plus bn sine nx, where the coefficients an and bn determine the contribution of each sinusoidal component. This idea made it possible to represent complex phenomena using simple waves. Although his work was initially criticized, his methods became fundamental to physics, engineering, and signal processing. Today, Fourier series are essential in harmonic analysis, acoustics, digital imaging, and quantum theory. His impact went beyond pure mathematics and established him as a pioneer of a new era of analysis. Leonhard Euler and the Bridges of Konigsberg In the 18th century, the city of Konigsberg a city in East Prussia and later Germany, which in 1945 became the Russian city of Kaliningrad, had seven bridges connecting different parts of the city over the Pregel River. The challenge was to cross all the bridges exactly once without repeating any. The question seemed simple, but no one could solve it. Leonhard Euler addressed the problem in 1736 and showed that it was unsolvable. He did so by abstracting the problem in terms of vertices and edges, thus giving rise to graph theory. He defined that for such a traversal to be possible, each vertex must have an even number of connected edges. Leonhard Euler solved the Konigsberg bridge problem, although more precisely, he showed that it had no solution under the given conditions. Euler's results not only solved the problem, but also introduced a new way of thinking about mathematics, topology, and network structure. His solution to the Konigsberg problem is considered the first theorem of graph theory, a fundamental area in mathematics, computer science, and modern logistics. Isaac Newton and the Law of Universal Gravitation In the 17th century, Isaac Newton unified celestial and terrestrial motion with a single law, universal gravitation. According to his theory, every particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a force proportional to their masses, 
and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The formula that summarizes this law is f equals g times quantity m1 times m2 over r squared, where f is the gravitational force, m1 and m2 are the masses, r is the distance between them, and g is the universal gravitational constant. This discovery explained both the fall of an apple and the orbits of planets, revolutionizing physics and establishing a mechanistic view of the universe. His work, Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, transformed Newton into a monumental figure in science and laid the foundations of classical physics. John Nash and the Nash Equilibrium In the 1950s, John Nash revolutionized game theory with a concept that changed economics, biology, and the social sciences, the Nash Equilibrium which describes a situation in which no player can improve their individual outcome if the others maintain their strategies. Formally, in a game with n players, a strategy profile, S1, S2, and so on, is a Nash equilibrium if, for each player i, where u sub i is the utility function, gain benefit, of player i, S sub i star is the optimal strategy, in equilibrium, chosen by player i, S sub i is any other alternative strategy that player i could choose. Capital S sub i is the set of all possible strategies for player i. The Nash equilibrium formalized rational behavior in strategic systems. His work, initially ignored, gained global recognition decades later, culminating in the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1994. His life was adapted into a film in A Beautiful Mind extending his fame beyond the academic world. Albert Einstein, General Relativity In 1915, Albert Einstein presented the theory of general relativity, revolutionizing our understanding of space, time, and gravity. Instead of conceiving of gravity as a force, he proposed that massive objects curve space-time, and this curvature guides the motion of other bodies. Einstein's field equation expresses this idea. Here, r mu nu is the Ricci tensor, which describes the curvature of space-time in a specific direction. r is the scalar curvature, capital lambda is the cosmological constant which explains the accelerated expansion of the universe, g mu nu is the metric tensor, t mu nu the energy-momentum tensor, g the gravitational constant, and c the speed of light. The formulation predicted phenomena such as the bending of light by gravity, which was experimentally confirmed in 1919. The theory not only catapulted Einstein to worldwide fame, but also became one of the fundamental foundations of modern physics. James Clerk Maxwell, Maxwell's Equations In the 19th century, James Clerk Maxwell unified electricity and magnetism into a coherent mathematical framework. He formulated a set of four differential equations that describe how electric and magnetic fields interact and propagate throughout space. These equations are The divergence of the electric field E is equal to the electric charge density rho divided by the vacuum permittivity epsilon naught. The divergence of the magnetic field B is equal to zero. The curl of the electric field E is equal to the negative rate of change of the magnetic field B with respect to time. The curl of the magnetic field B is equal to mu naught, which is the magnetic permeability of free space, times the current density J, plus mu naught times epsilon naught, which is the vacuum permittivity, times the rate of change of the electric field E with respect to time. These describe how electric, electric field, and magnetic, magnetic field, fields, generate and modify each other. The prediction that light is an electromagnetic wave was one of its most notable consequences. The impact of these equations transformed modern physics, laying the foundations for electromagnetic theory, radio, and electronics, and cementing Maxwell as one of the great geniuses in scientific history.